you're doing a great job. Now we're going to add an image and we're going to figure out how to size it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find an image. And so you can do something that goes along with, you know, what you've been writing so far. If you want to add an image after the, the introduction to computer science, or you want to find a picture of yourself, or I'm just going to go with the Chicago Cubs right there at the very bottom. So first thing I want to do is either in your Google Drive or on like your desktop, you're going to add a folder and I'm just going to right click and go new and folder and I'm just going to call this REPL and open this back up and open up a tab and type in Chicago Cubs, find the image and we want to remember that we want to do things uh, hit the tools and find usage right. We want to use Creative Common License because we don't want to steal other people's work that don't. Because uh, we're not going to really give credit to it. But then again, it is for educational purposes. So, so as long as you're doing this for educational purposes, uh, you are not breaking any copyright. However, it's always good to give credit where credit's due. I'm going to use this just Cubs logo right here, and I'm going to right click on that and save image as, and make sure that it goes in that folder that I just created. And I'm just going to even shorten it and call it Cubs all lowercase, and then it's in a PNG. Save. You see it loaded down there. So when I go back to my REPL, first thing I'm going to do is drag it up to these files. Um, and yours. It'll probably be the first one, so you won't get that like error that's popping up there. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a body, and I'm going to go back up. So you noticed uh, right now I'm on line uh, 18, but I'm on line 19 because we have a closed body right there. I'm going to type in the letters IMG and hit enter. Okay, there's two ways to add. Um, to add uh, images. The first way you can do it is right click on here and hit, um, let's see, copy, copy link address. And then you can go in here and you can hit paste. And sometimes the link is pretty short and sometimes it's pretty long. So in this case, it's pretty short and it does the trick. However, if that website Ever changes, then you're in big trouble. If the website changes, if the website link changes, if the image in that website changes, you're in big trouble and all of a sudden your image is gone. So um, what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to do what I just did and I'm going to type hub.png because it's grabbing it from right here. It's grabbing it from that folder um, from our files right there. The uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and I'm going to put an alt Cubs. So now when the image is there, it's going to give it the name as Cubs. You'll notice it's a capital C in the Cubs. And when I go back here, I'll hit refresh and you can't really see much change right now. So let's change the size because that's pretty big. So I'm going to start typing the word width, but I'm not going to type the whole thing. I'm just going to hit enter um, and let's change that to 25 and um, height. And I'll change that to 25 and I will come up here and hit refresh. And you'll notice that is super, super small. Oh, one thing that might have happened with yours is you might have gotten it do this like the image might show up on the side here so you might want to go back up to this paragraph here and add a uh, oops, add a break there um, and I'm going to change change my height and I'm going to change my width to 4040 I'm going to hit refresh and you can see it's a little bit bigger. Uh, I still don't like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to play with the size and and, uh, and add and get it the way I want it to look. So now it's your turn to uh, go into your code and add as many images as you would like. 
Uh, and then make sure that when you are done, you copy this link that you have and you paste this into the assignment. Good job, you're killing it this week. Keep it up.